<laughs> Guys, um, our safety rating has gone up. It's not supposed to do that. This is the ESNDT. Clearly, we are not pushing the envelope hard enough here. <laughs> har, har enough? Yes, hard enough or far enough at the same time. What's up, guys? This is Heiss, and yeah, we're playing Railroader again today. Um, <laughs> as sun rises over um, my very yellow train, it's very good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I decided that I wanted the Silverton Branch era of the ESNDT, uh, and so we've painted the train yellow. It's great. Bumblebee kind of vibes, you know? Uh, and here we have the one attached to it, and then our new coach. Uh, I haven't really looked at it yet. Um, it looks kind of nice. I like the vestibules. It's pretty cool. Big, big coach. Uh, oh, oh, man, all the seats are facing the wrong way. Bummer. No breakover backs, I guess. Well, everyone's just going to have to face the wrong way. Maybe they don't want to look where they're going. It is the ESNDT. But yeah, this is a big, big honkin' chonkin'. The Osgood Bradley coach um, holds 84 people. So we're, uh, we actually have some serious capacity on this train now. Um, <clears throat> that said, uh, <laughs> the train's been loading all night and it's actually still not full and we were running it, like not having enough people yesterday. So maybe we'll, uh, we'll advance the time and get that full. Um, but the other fun new thing is over at the roundhouse here in Dillsboro. We got a new choo-choo. We have four choo-choos now. Here she is, the number four. <laughs> Next to the three spot, right there with her. Uh, but yeah, this is our K35 is what they're calling it. It's Sumter Valley 19. Uh, and in honor, <laughs> Glenn Holland, if you're out there, this is for you, my buddy. <laughs> A number one to Portland on the cab of the uh, the four here. Um, oh, yeah, I'm just, I, I, it's a nice looking engine, ish. I'm gonna, I, I need to not look at, at models closely in this game, otherwise I will have an aneurysm. Anyway, um, it has coal, it has water. It's got a lot of coal capacity, a lot of water capacity compared to, I don't know, the starting engines, which just don't have hardly any, although it's actually relatively comparable to this one. Um, the three, the, the, the 10 wheeler is just the, that's the problem. Um, but it's a Mikado and it's got a lot of power comparatively 35,000 pounds versus 23,000, uh, and then 26,000, I think on the Atlantic. And then the poor, the poor 10 wheeler is like 17,000. It's more piddly than any narrow gauge engine I've ever seen, but it's all the way in Bryson. Um, so we got four trains today. Uh, we're going to play with four trains and kind of see what that's like. Um, and uh, I'm going to get things started here and we're going to see what we can get into and what fun we can have. Spend a little time with the, uh, the 282. Maybe, maybe we'll try and run from the cab um, if I can stomach it. We shall see. But um, I'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay, uh, I've gone around the map, done some looking at things and seeing what needs done for the day. Um, and it reminded me that uh, a couple episodes ago I asked about the switch list and how to use it and you guys provided wonderful comments. Um, and then I proceeded to forget them so I actually had to uh, go look at them again and, and actually right when I went to my homepage, a video by Kerbo explaining how to do it was posted. Yeah, cheers to Kerbo, but the, the big thing is you, you make it a crew Join my crew, which is somewhere in the menus here. Crews, and I, I made the Dutch Droppers and Car Kickers crew because as a single solo save, like it doesn't really matter to have named crews or different crews, it doesn't seem. And I just added all the engines to it um, for funsies. Uh, so no matter which is going on, uh, I'm a part of it. Um, and then you can go around and either you can click on each car or easier, you click on the station window and then anything that has an unfulfilled waybill shows up right here, which is actually really freaking cool. Um, this is actually kind of a bit brilliant. And then you can pick what you want to put on the switch list and what not to. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna put everything on the switch list. We want to have the list of everything because uh, I keep managing to miss cars or put cars in the wrong place. And and just being able to look and now know it at a glance, press tab. These are all the things and where they are, and they're organized by where they are right now. Um, so I know no matter which engine I get to is 
really, really cool. Uh, th this functionality is great. Why'd you hide it in so many menus? You know? <laughs> uh, so we got that set up. We know what our day looks like. Uh, we got a pickup at Ella. We got a pickup at Stenzel at Whittier Sawmill. Uh, a couple at Dillsboro. And then, of course, our uh, lovely Pulpwood boys at Parsons Tannery. Um, looks like one to interchange around the paper board at Parsons Tannery. A uh, bunch of stuff in interchange that's got to go everywhere. And that'll be our westbound. Uh, and then uh, some stuff, again, it's got to go to Colony Creek. That's going to be part of the westbound. B big westbound train today. Pretty small eastbound train, um, <laughs> naturally. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're going to get the day started here. Uh, obviously, we've got our passenger train, and our passenger train is pretty much ready to rock and roll. Um, we advanced time an hour, and all kinds of people showed up to, <laughs> to Silva here. There's 109 people waiting to ride still. Um, so uh, we got the train absolutely chock full and uh, we're going to just tell you to go road speed ahead and figure it out. Um, yeah, God, that way, that way bill system is really actually quite neat. Uh, and that really scratches the management itch part of this game. And, uh, I wish that was more upfront and obvious, <laughs> uh, but, uh, that's, that's the way it is. I mean, I mean, uh, that's cool. Rather than going to fly around and look at every spur, you just go click on the, the depot and then tab over to the freight side. And it's like, oh, this is actually, you know, you're checking in with each location and each location has the labels and the paperwork kind of like the real thing, which is actually really cool. Um, yeah, I wish it was just uh, more upfront because that's, uh, that's really cool flavor. Anyway, so the passenger train's gonna go. We're gonna have some switching at the paperboard. We're gonna have a big westbound train. And then we're probably gonna start a small eastbound train. Uh, Bryson doesn't have anything that needs to go. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna send our our choo choo. We're gonna tell it uh, road speed forward across the turntable. We're gonna tell him to run um, and just line him out because there's nothing at Bryson. So we're gonna line this AI all the way out, um, and he's gonna just run. He's just gonna run to Ella to the first pickup for the eastbound, and that'll be that. Um, and then. We'll probably get the Mikado on the big westbound, so that's the whole reason why we bought it. Uh, and we'll and we'll run that a little bit. Uh, let's see, that's the car. So yeah, we can just we can just line him into end of track here. Okay, um, and then we obviously have the Whittier Sawmill run to do uh, as well, and switching around the paperboard. Hmm. So yeah, I think uh, for for now, I think we're gonna build the build the westbound. And we're and we're gonna switch the paperboard. So what we're gonna do is uh, we'll we'll send we'll send you out first. Just road forward because you're already you're already there. Um, and we'll send this guy out, and he's gonna switch the paperboard. Um, and then the 282 is gonna make the westbound from the interchange. Um, and anything that's got to go west that we have to pick up at the paperboard for some reason. Um, oh, goodness. Well, we do kind of have to... We, we do want all those on the westbound, for sure. Although we could drop them off with the switcher. Hmm. We could just keep the, the westbound... Just make the westbound a westbound. Uh, I, maybe we'll do that. We'll just make the westbound be a westbound, and that's great. And then our... Uh, what we'll do with the three after it's done switching the paperboard is it'll run and it'll do the logs um, up to Connolly. Or maybe we don't want to do that. We could have we could have our 10-wheeler do that because it's going to be there first. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Logistics sim. Here we go. So we're going to have the 10-wheeler go up to Ella. It's going to grab its stuff. It's going to go to Whittier. It's going to pick up... Uh, it's going to drop off that car from Ella. Uh, it's got a pickup to make in Whittier proper, actually. Um... It's going to run up, do the Connolly run with the logs. We'll advance time, bring those back down. Uh, the one spot's running the passenger train. The three uh, is going to switch the paperboard um, and then head west with the pulpwood cars. Oh, it's got to end up there anyway. It's got to end up up there anyway. Shoot. Yeah, well, we'll just do that. That's fine. Uh, and let the eastbound do the eastbound thing. But it's got the three, we want to set the pulpwood cars out. 
Oh, so that they can come back. Right. So it almost makes sense to have the three do the do all of the wood stuff. Okay, three is gonna switch. Three is gonna switch the paperboard and then do the wood stuff. And then the the um, <clears throat> the two eight two is just gonna be in the big westbound. Got that right? What are we all doing? One's running the passenger. Two's the eastbound. Three is the paperboard and then the wood boy. Uh, and then four is going to run the westbound. Yeah just like that uh, you keep saying it and eventually you'll remember it that's um that's the secret <laughs> so you know what we'll uh, we'll pull up and we'll line this switch against him because he can he can start grabbing um stuff for interchange real quick but we'll uh get the four on the move and hopefully we'll get to experience a little bit of what it's like to use um use our new engine so that's exciting come on you there we go. All right. Road forwards. Full beams. All right. Well, um, I will meet you back. And oh, God. We got to pick a new whistle for that thing. I hate that whistle. Um, we'll meet you back in just a moment here. Well, I tried a bunch of different whistles, but honest to God, uh, even with the whistle mod, which is lovely for Manti uh, 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 and Greninja, I really just despise most of the whistles in this game. Uh, so we're using the NYC5, which is not an NYC5, again, but... It sounds quite nice. Um, I did realize going through the mod list that there's a Sumter Valley uh, five chime on there. And then I realized that I've probably triggered Bandan and Glenn, and many others, all at once by earlier saying, I definitely said that this is the Sumter Valley 19. That's the wrong 19. That's the wrong gauge. That's the wrong railroad. It's the wrong state. This is Wairika Western 19. Formerly. <laughs> not, uh, yeah, not anything else. That's, um, that's fine. Um, brain is brain. It happens. <laughs> the wrong 19 originally from the West Coast. Uh, apologies on that. Um, you, you guys know how I be. So, anyway, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get the AI rolling on that thing and and call it a day. You know, we can actually, we can make pickups for the, uh, the eastbound. Nah, well, nah, eastbound's problem. No. We want to get the westbound moving. It'll, it'll be more streamlined later to not make those pickups now. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, I will say that this, this game does the logistics puzzle thing really cool because I'm, I'm fra finding myself framing the jobs like a real railroad now actually in my head which I was not anticipating um, now that I've got more engines right it's less than a oh yeah well you just go do everything you can um, short line like true short line like we have one locomotive go switch everything you can um, now that I've got a couple more engines we got four four locomotives running the railroad now three three to do freight right like that's the passenger trains just the the flavor text that makes money in the background kind of thing you know um it's interesting how i'm perceiving and choosing to make decisions now um and, and, I'm, and i'm honest to god just kind of following what the railroad would do where i was just thinking to myself as i was doing the switch around the paperboard here uh, i've got the three spot we're doing the thing Right. Okay. Well, we got pickups to make. Like, okay, but we, we do I do I rush to dig out these cars and set them out so the westbound, you know, can take them because they go west, and they could be part of the westbound train. Um, but no, we want this engine to do the switching uh, and and like go to Connolly and whatever, and and setting those cars out would be a pain in that big cut of cut of cars on the through freight. You know, even if we put them at the front or the back or something like Dutch dropping with that much weight is just like a huge pain. Blah blah blah. Um, so, you know, it, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to put them on the through freight. Um, and that, that's not that train's job. Yes, it goes west, but not all the cars have to go west. You know, um, some of the cars need to do different things. Like, yeah, it's got to go west, but it's got to go west for a different purpose. There, those are our cars. That is what my railroad owns. That's what's my, that's what my railroad's doing. Uh, it's got to do with the, the, the log job. It's the wood job. We got the wood job right here. Yeah, these cars. And then and then the other the other logs and all that um, is all one thing. So one crew's gonna do that. It's like, oh crap, like what wait, wait, we're actually we're actually really railroading. We're doing we're doing the railroad thing in railroader. Wait, what? 
Um, I really appreciate that. You know, I know I was very, very critical in my early review, of course. Um, and, and there's still so much that is frustrating and stupid and, and needs updating in, in my many uh, cents, more than two cents that I keep giving. Um, but it, it does get a lot of the railroad management stuff right, and, I, and I, it is an enjoyable game to play. Just, you just, just figure that out a little bit more concretely and obviously, you know? And, and oh my god, it would be an amazing game. But I really do enjoy it. I mean, oh, there, there's the, there's the Not-19. Here it is. The Not-19 flying past us here. Uh, I will say the, the AI was yeah, we, we talked about it last time, the AI whistling for crossings. Still so, that's just... I thought it was so stupid, but it, it really, every time it happens, it's just like, oh, there's there there are other things happening on the railroad today. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, we've got to pick up some coal for Dillsboro. Okay, on the coaling tower. And then we've got all this crap that goes west. We're already stopping at, uh, at Dillsboro, aren't we? Aren't we? Yeah, Locust Pin. We're already stopping at Dillsboro, so we might as well put... Uh, put that car on with the westbound here and kind of go from there. Well, I'm going to keep doing the doing the switching. I'm going to keep doing the stuff. And uh, when, when we get somewhere and get some stuff going, I'll, I'll meet you back. All right, interesting thing I've found out about Railroader and its AI. Um, it's best to give it a few Z or a switch lined against it because it will never tell you if it's staring at the end of track. <laughs> It just, I came over here and it like chuffed once and was staring at the end of track and it's like, well, how long have you been waiting? And you can see all of my other calls that the AI's done um, are passenger trains on the way from Wilmot, honestly, actually to Whittier. Um, and we're at, inter like everything's kind of moved around and, and uh, this guy, no, he, he was not going to say, hi, I'm stupid and I'm staring at the end of track. Um, please help me. So I'm glad I checked. Oh, so close. Bang. Alright, God's strongest handbrake. Turn off. <laughs> the, uh, the, the brake adjustment has had an interesting side effect. The handbrakes are... Super strong. I mean, I, they were probably super strong before, but, like, they're way super strong. Um, I'm probably just not used to having... <laughs> Lots of nice, big, heavy steel cars with ratcheting handbrakes. Because um, <laughs> uh, all of the narrow gauge crap, I mean, most of it's uh, wood, right? Wood frames. And some, a lot of it's steel reinforced, but most of it's made out of wood. Um, and they're staff handbrakes, by and large. Not these more modern, sexy, ratcheting, geared, beautiful handbrakes that actually work. Um, we, ha we do have some cars like that at the museum that have better handbrakes, but uh, we chalk and chain everything for a reason <laughs> it's uh because the handbrakes of uh, a lot of cars are just not brilliant um which i mean a is because they're ancient and b you know it, it's like they're in good shape like they're in as good a shape as they can be in many cases but certain cars that are just on display like they don't get moved okay well a perfect handbrake is you know well not necessarily a perfect handbrake you know um, but oh, almost everything I've run into, it's like, you, you, you try and move against a handbrake, you'll always pull past it, um, in actuality, but, uh, in Railroader, it's very much just, uh, oh yeah, no, you, you cannot pull through a handbrake, are you kidding me? It's, they're God's strongest handbrakes, um, <clears throat> which is interesting. Alright, I, I just left you, uh, to your own devices, and there you are. Okay, cool, that's fine. I need to, I guess we should drop that real quick. We'll just drop it and pow. Get away from it. Have it go down the track. It, we want it to go down. Uh, line the switch like four times in a row. There we go. Alright. Come on. Go. Go you. You're making a lot of, a lot of smoke about nothing. A lot of fuss about nothing. <laughs> Oh, silly little choo-choo. 
Logistics, good. Uh, trains. Eh. Mm. Mm. The jury's out. All right. We'll just let that run. Leave that there. Uh, one thing I was also kind of pondering while messing around and futzing around with all these things. Um, oh, th did that just make the hook? Cool. <laughs> I I left this uh, off on its own to just go make a hook. And eh, what well, we did... Eh, I don't know. But this one's at 100, so I think the hook was fine. Um, the engine's at 100, so we, we, we previously dunked this boy. Um, <laughs> one of my other musings was... Um, I wish you could rescale the map. Because when you're doing stupid crap like I'm doing right now, where I'm just letting a locomotive just run away on its own with no with no 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 power, it's not under power, it's just a coaster. Don't worry, Connie. Um, <laughs> um, by doing that, um, it's nice to leave the map up, but the map it, you can't resize the window, and it's just gigantic. Um, so it'd be nice if that. Did oh God, those are going down the wrong track. Crap. Crap. Catch your, catch your hopper. Don't clobber it. Bang. It's fine. 88%, 99%. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. We needed to, we needed to down our safety percentage to be true to our name anyway. We're not, we're not pushing it to the edge enough here. We're not, we're not pushing the envelope or railroading hard enough here on the ES and DT. We got, we got places to be. We got better brakes. Like, that's all we could ever hope for. Like, come on. <laughs> come on! Just go bang into those cars real quick. Well, okay. That's probably enough power. Uh, brakes. Brakes now. Uh. Maybe that no, that was fine. God, that was that was early, early breaking. Bang! Got him. Got him. We should probably tie more air in because uh, the air is all over the place on this mess. Um, tie that air in. Okay, all the air is tied except for the air between the engine and the first car. It's fine. Which handbrake is that? Uh, it's that one. That one. There we go. Now uh, here are Mikado. There it is. He's got stuff for the paperboard. Did we tell him to stop? Probably line to switch against him. Yeah, we did. All right. Because he's got yeah. Three cars for the paperboard in the middle there. Of course they're in the middle. I have to go dig them out. We'll we'll be able to collaborative collaboratively do that in just a moment here. Where's the passenger train? Well, it's made it to Whittier, and so has the, the other, the 10 wheeler. We're having another meet. <laughs> it's kind of fun having four trains. Everybody's meeting everybody, all at the same place. 115 bucks, that's awesome. Uh, oh, I, I, so many of you commented after uh, watching the last video where we were just, you know, pulling away from the, uh, the OBS. We need to try, we need to buy another OBS and try a double ended OBS. And see if the bonus stacks. Like we, we gotta we gotta bust that myth. We gotta try that. Um, you know what? I think I'll try that in sandbox before I before I buy another obs. Or maybe I'll just buy. You know what? No, I'll just buy another obs. What are you, what are you doing? Do you know what you're doing? You keep. No, you don't. You're very confused. <laughs> Asleep at the wheel over here on the four. Uh, likes to blow three whistles and then ding his bell and then be confused. Well, he's trying to get closer to the switch, I guess. I mean, it's a big switch that's lined against him. It's fine. All right. Well, we'll let uh, <laughs> we'll let our train coast back and we'll let the AI be confused. Uh, I think we got to get the trains in Whittier to keep going. Oh God! Yeah, you're already you're already looking at another train, are you? Oh God, you're so yellow. Yeah, no, we'll 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 buy a uh, another OBS, put it on the train and test it. And uh, worst case, it's just uh, another passenger train. It's a promise of a second passenger train. Because uh, goodness, like we already know that uh, we're not servicing. Like we get a, we have a hundred percent reputation for passenger now. 
Um, I'm not sure what changed and why we have that now, uh, but it did happen. We do have that. Um, but we are not. Um, we could probably make more money if we did two passenger trains and then uh, one each direction and then had them wait in the middle of the day. You know, like like just load up and then run back the other way. Feels like there's missed opportunity on that sort of thing. Um, and then more trains. You know, more trains, more good. We like trains. Most of the time. Mo most of the time we like trains. Sometimes we don't like trains. But that's only when they're causing us lots of pain. Pull away from that. We're gonna go run in and say hi to that, uh, that tank car. Get clear there, slam on the independent, slam on the automatic. Why not? And you know, I think that did we do we line the passenger train further out than that? Oh no, you would you would do that. You would do that. Is the saw by gonna work? We might collide. We might also just saw. By. Oh yeah, okay, that's it. Cool. Well, we'll have to get the player out. Uh, <laughs> we did lie in the passive train out. Okay. ADHD brain, man. That's a challenge. Did we put a f fusey down at Ella? No, we didn't. Okay. That's what I thought. There we go. So that's ready. Um, has our other train wrecked yet? There's so much to do all at once, guys. <laughs> that's uh, uh, four trains. I guess that's how that works. Um, anyway, we did bang into those cars. Um, and it doesn't seem that damage has been done. Well, well, maybe some damage was done. Uh, uh, who knows if that was now or later or earlier? It's the S and DT. Um, that's just the way it be. Four, 13 cars, 434 tons. What's this one? 655 tons. Okay, by tonnage, this train is still uh, more. And and a lot of these are going to interchange, so we're only going to have the seven, the seven cars there. Which is still going to be a fair bit, as these are uh, decently heavy cars, I think. I don't know how heavy they are. Uh, they're 24 tons. It says it on the tin. They hold 50 tons. But anyway, we need to take those to interchange. Or we could just stat. We could honestly just stash those for the. Um... Yeah, let's do that. We don't. We, we don't have to go east with this engine. This engine's got to go west to do the. It's got to do the log job, man. Um. So we could just stash these cars for pickup. We switched them out, and they'll just be picked up by the eastbound as its last move. It sucks that they're on the head end. I'd love to just drop those. Mm. Well, well, we'll switch those out. But uh, then we can go do the log job with those, and then uh, we'll save some time there. Rather than... I was just assuming we are going to... Hey, we're going to just run those to interchange real quick. Um, and then go from there. But, uh, you know... Logistics sim. Here we are. Uh, so that's going to run, and it's going to take uh, a smidge to get clear there. So we're just going to let that coast at a scenic 12 mile an hour, and we will get our eastbound, eastbound. Oh, that's right. We still have to deal with this. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay, so we'll select this guy. Control zero puts our human here. Hello, fellow humans. I am engineer man. You can tell that by the way that I am. Okay, and then we just break our R key off while holding shifts, much like we're playing Dero Valley, except it's the F key. Um. Okay, just keep going. Just keep swimming. Cool. One of these days I'll deliver freight that way. And then we'll just see if we can leave our human there for the rest of the episode. Be a good episode if we can. Uh, let's see. Well, we want to try and kick this car back up to Stenzel. We don't want it. You're icky. I don't want you. And then we'll back into our other guy. And then we will line this out. And it'll be our westbound. Eastbound? Eastbound. That one. That one! 
I was glad that there were uh, Smokey and the Bandit slash Jerry Reed fans in the comments the last episode. If you haven't seen Smokey and the Bandit, it's a, it's an American classic. It is a, a, a pinnacle of cinema perfection. Uh, highly, 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 highly loved by all critics. I guarantee it. Get to watch a Trans Am and, and Burt Reynolds. And Sally Field. Like, you just get to watch shenanigans with a Trans Am. Like, come on. Who doesn't want to watch shenanigans with a Trans Am? Uh, if you don't want to watch shenanigans with the Trans Am, I probably don't want you to be my friend. Sorry. That's uh, that's just the way it is. I don't make the rules. <laughs> we like Pontiac shenanigans here. Oh, God. you're. Why are you rolling down hit? Well, I mean, I guess there's a grade against you. That's fine. It's a, you're, you're going against the grade, and it's heavy. I get it. It's fine. 327 bucks. Passenger, the passenger train on the ES and DT is probably the most profitable thing we have. Choose to you, Carrie. <laughs> even even if even if the only reason it's the most profitable is because it never wrecks, because it's always being run by an AI. <laughs> uh, it's fine. The AI engineers are the best engineers we have. And even they wreck sometimes, as we talked uh, talked about last time. That's great. That's great. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I haven't addressed it yet, have I? Hmm. Um, apologies for being a wee bit loopy um, and sounding a little poor. Uh, if you didn't watch the Montezuma Monday live stream, or if you're not a part of the Discord, by the way, you should watch watch Montezuma Mondays. It's great. We design a train um, that we that we want to build for reals because we're stupid. Um, <laughs> and then of course the discord is a great place where a lot of community stuff goes on and, uh, we can interact and hang out and all that thing. Um, so you should, you should be a part of all of that if, uh, if you love the channel and all that. Um, but yeah, uh, if you, if you're not a part of those things, uh, you didn't know, uh, cause I didn't post on YouTube because YouTube community posts are just kind of trash. Like <laughs> they, they exist kind of, you know, but they're not great. And most people don't see them anyways, so it was like, I don't know if I need to post that there. I don't need to use the energy on that. But uh, uh, I don't know if I got COVID V2. Um, I tested fine the entire time, but I, I was it's either COVID or the flu or something. Um, and I have ju just got nailed. I was out of it for days. Um, I'm filming this here on Tuesday this week. Um, this, this will be out on Thursday, so this is uh, two days ahead of when the video posts. Uh, so hello future. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, God, I got knocked out. I mean, just awful, awful sickness n uh, knocked down on, on about Thursday. Um, yeah, uh, turns out somebody was sick at the museum's Christmas party and uh, and that was that and everyone got sick because that's how that works. But you know, the, the nature of not having symptoms until too late, and uh, that's fine. Like I don't blame anybody, but that's part of life. You get sick and it happens and you get over it and, and you move on. Um, or you don't. And then, uh, well, then you're not too worried about it anymore. But anyways. <laughs> um, yeah. So I've, I, I was down for the count for a bit. Like I normally post, try to post on a, on a Saturday or Sunday because that's when most of you guys watch according to YouTube. Uh, most people are around on Saturday, Sundays. So I try and post the day, you know, that you guys are watching stuff. Um, and then I do the video game stuff midweek, right? Um, but I, I, I wanted to do videos and the A engineer's like, we moved. I stopped. I promise I got it. Uh, that's funny. Um, I could just grab all this crap for the paperboard and just stash it over and then, yeah, that'll be the fastest thing. Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to do that. But anyway, I mean, like. I, I just did not post anything. I was not feeling well. Like, I I did end up working on some Century of Steam stuff, which is exciting, and you guys should be excited. Oh my god, it's so cool. Uh, you'll, you'll see soon enough, if you're a Patreon, and if not, uh, you'll, you'll see, you know, uh, soon enough plus a month. Um. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I was not ready to present. I wasn't ready to talk, uh, any of that stuff, so... Uh, apologies for being absent for a little bit. I mean, this is basically going to be almost a week be between posting, but thankfully Walther's uh, got the review done on 
the uh, Build a World episode that came out yesterday, which is tomorrow for me right now. Hee hee ha ha. But yeah, I'm going to keep this switching going, uh, and I'll meet you in a little bit. Uh -huh. All right, well, here our meager westbound meets its even more meager eastbound. Yeah. <laughs> really don't have a ton of cars to move on the road today, apparently. Uh, I think those Silva jobs um, <laughs> inflated how many cars are running on the railroad. Yep. So, uh, there, there they go. There's, there goes the four. Four passing the two. It's only got one car for, for Bryson. We unlocked Bryson last time, and, and uh, it's just not really doing a whole bunch for us yet, so far. Um... I trust that more shall come in the future, but uh, uh, not, not at the moment, apparently. <clears throat> so, anyway. Uh, no, the eastbounds, he's got to make some pickups here in Dillsborough. Stop him right there. Um, other updates, our passenger train is on the move. Eastbound, we advanced time a bunch to make sure it loaded all the way. Um, something like three or four hours. And we're still switching the paperboard. But we're like, we're like almost there with the paperboard switching. So. <laughs> so we got uh, all the stuff that's got to go west for the wood job. Log job. Wood job. Um, and then we've got stuff for interchange that the eastbound will pick up. And then we've got to put... That at S2, PW1, just the power track, and then uh, in Parsons Tannery, so we're gonna kick this that way and Dutch drop the next car into PW1, and then uh, kick this into the that track on our way out, run around, pick up all of the uh, bunks, all the, the, the uh, bulkheads, them's, them's the ones. We're gonna pick up all the bulkheads and get out of here, and uh, it's gonna be great. Get this thing scooting pretty decent. It's pretty good speed. Shut off, get some separation distance. And that'll uh, <laughs> let that car roll and, uh, and we'll go past. Well, yep, our, our looks like our eastbound has made it to the Dillsborough just about for those pickups. Westbound is just working on, on its way. Its next drop-off is not uh, not till Wilmot at Slay Micah and Schist. So. And yes, Micah, I know you're watching and no, we will not slay you. It is apparently the, uh, the name of a rock. <laughs> Kapow, there's that. All right. $64. There you go. Number two has found a few Z. That's our boy in Dillsboro. Can we make those pickups? Can we make those pickups real quick? What are the odds? We were talking about how our safety rating hasn't gone down in... Uh, and it's actually gotten up, so maybe we'll just uh, choose stupidity, and we'll grab. We'll do the first move of this switch move, while we let the other train just run uh, unattended at the paperboard. Also, every time I say paperboard, I don't know about you, but I think of the classic, ancient arcade game, Paperboy. Um, that's what pops in my head the entire time. It, it's just paperboard, but. Paper, paper board, like paper boy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Where's the handbrake? There it is. God's strongest handbrake. This entire game. Oh God, that's already bounced. Uh, we've, we've already browned him, Jim. You can see, you can see by by the way that it is uh, that, that the other engine's already wrecked. 
Oh god. <laughs> well, uh, that'll help our uh, reputation here. Oh, and our tender is now at 69%. That's fine. Oh, and I'm gonna have to go get my person. And here we thought we could get away with not having our human anywhere else. It's fine. We have to do a different kind of shift R for this poor browned boxcar. Oh, it's at zero percent. He's been killed. The other one's at seventy-one percent. Wow, that was a that was a wallop. Shame we missed it. Well, okay. Who cares if we bang it real hard now? Bam. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna have to do a move. Let's go get this one. We're we're doing ADHD dual switching right now. It's um it's a bit of an art. I wouldn't say it's quite refined, but it's a it's a thing. Okay, kicking, kicking. We'll do some kicking. Remove you fusey, cause the AI will be confused if the train's on top of fusey later. More kicking. And we have to we have to kind of time this uh, this switch twice. I, I want to teleport somewhere else and do something else, but kind of have to wait. And our freight train's almost there. Our passenger train's almost to Ella. No, we forgot to throw the bloody switch in the first place anyway. Oh man, welcome to the ECT. Over that. It's fine. Oh, they became brown. Well, brown, brownish or brown. They're no longer shiny. Well, no longer shiny at some angles. Very shiny at others. Bang. All right. Let's try this again. It's poor ten wheeler. I'm thinking about it more. Uh, the 10 wheeler is not so good for tonnage because it has no capacity. Um, I'm wondering if I should just put it on the passenger train. Like, it doesn't have as much tractive effort as the Atlantic, so the Atlantic would be better at the tonnage anyway. Um, and the fuel capacity is a real problem, but maybe the fuel and water capacity might actually be a bigger problem than it is otherwise. That's the, that's the game I've been wrestling in my head of well, the the Atlantic's also great because you can just kind of put put it on AI mode and not care about it anymore because uh, it's got so much capacity. But um, this little dupe does not. But it, but if it could make a round trip between um, Bryson and Silva, and you just fuel it and water it every time, or even if you have to water it at either end, you know, like that might be fine, you know. to get better utilization of the fleet, you know? I'm kind of wondering about that. Bam. Got him. Got him! Alright, passenger trains made it there. Right, road, Ford, Bent, Full Beans, go. Go do that hoodoo that you do so well. Alright, that's spotted now. Tie the brake. Uh, Cheers to channel member Andrew Frame pointing out that the grade crossing signals are just kind of set based on speed. The speed when they detect the crossing rather than anything else. Um, which explains the goofy crossing behavior. Because, yeah, they don't they don't have a, a, like a predictor circuit or anything that uh, tells them uh, what, what they should be. Or, or how fast they're accelerating, rather. <laughs> which, I mean, uh, real crossings uh, and their detection circuits struggle with actual prediction so like fair enough um yeah a little little goofy uh in the, in the game but you know um because you know it's code and you don't have to depend upon silly things like ballast resistance and whatnot oh god well i guess we'll keep the westbound going uh, so we will did he say he got to the fusey oh yeah he did okay it's fine we said we were going to play with this, and we are going to maybe run from the cab. And maybe we will. <laughs> Still, maybe. Alright. Schle, Mika, and Schist.
All right, Matt, not Mika, Micah. We learned this. Come on, Heights. Let's uh, set it to manual mode. We'll tie a brake on boxcar. Do that. All right. Why'd you? Sorry, it's super quick. It's got itty bitty drivers, so. The Baldwin 90 tons are goofy looking Mikados. You look at them from the front and you're like, okay, yeah. Big standard gauge engine, cool. Um, but yeah, the, uh... <laughs> the overall look with the itty bitty drivers, I mean, there's so much space. It's just so hollow in the middle. You know? Kinda goofy. Alright, please roll all the way to slay Micah. Please. There we go. Very good. You like it when they do that. One damage dollar. Darn it. that all right and go continue on your way my friend reverse it full beans uh, and I guess yeah we'll just have to have it meet at Whittier so it, does, it doesn't make any sense for it to meet at Thomas Valley because um, it's so close to the freight and it's yeah so we'll like he's already lined into the yard uh, and he can just, man, we'll just put him up to there. Uh, and then we will go to Whittier it proper. Make sure we got a few Z. Um, jump around the corner, make sure that our switch is lined for the main. Tis. All right. Go to Ella, where the passenger train's been waiting forever. Um, oh, wow. It's not entirely full, is it? But there's nobody else waiting. So there you go. Continue shoving, my friend. The, the yellow train of yellowness. <laughs> so all of our new equipment will be meeting at Whittier while all of our old equipment is um, playing together here at uh, the paperboard. Paperboard. If I didn't prove my point. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, we'll uh, line that in. I need to have fusees down on all, all three of those, and those never need to go away, because we never need to go any further than that, right? Anyway, let's continue browning our train cars here. All right. Now, yeah, that air is real sad. This is just gonna go to S1, just there, and then we'll go grab the other friends on the way. Places to be, man. I can probably take this curve at 40, right? I don't know about that switch. This curve, yes, that switch, I don't know. We've browned our tender, but we haven't browned our engine. I'm just assuming that the, the other engine's passed here, right? Like, oh yeah, it's already most of the way to the interchange. It's in the interchange, it's just working on exactly where it needs to stop. The, uh, the new braking uh, and the new AI as a combo, um, they make some choices. It's kind of interesting. Where they, they need to figure out a lot of things about stopping. Like, oh, okay, I'm coming up to the thing. I'm scared of it, so I need to come up slightly. I, although, actually, this time it's um, it's behaving a lot better. So maybe the uh, maybe when we update some of the interims, 
been good for that. Well, it doesn't matter if we cream this boxcar or not, because it's already ruined. So, we'll just dump it like that. Oh, the eastbound was supposed to pick these cars up. I wasn't expecting it to get here already. It's just like, oh yeah, it's just got to keep going. Um, so we will just tell him to come right back. Yeah, you. You, yeah, you. You forgot some cars. Come back. <laughs> I know you just got paid for all those, but that's fine. Okay, well hopefully those that car didn't roll beyond... Oh yeah, it did. Oh no, it's fine. The whole, the whole siding is that. <laughs> just bounced back. It's just a rubber band. It's fine. <laughs> Two dollars timely minus forty one dollars of damage. Well, you know. all right westbound making it into Whittier Proper oh, this is actually I was expecting You know it's a shorter run a little Whittier like I, I thought with the woman to Whittier would take him longer uh, But apparently our little new number four is just screaming um, Which is awesome Um, yeah, because the meat, I was worried there was going to be a bunch of waiting time, but, uh, for the passenger train. Uh, but it's not going to be the case. The, uh, the other train's going to be waiting. The four is going to be waiting. Presumably. And, and I'm really starting to see how this map should operate now. Like, thinking about logistics-wise. Like, westbound, eastbound, through freight. Okay? Doing your pickups, drop-offs, and everything. You gotta have those. Um, so I want another big freight engine, but you absolutely need somebody who's just in charge of getting the pulp wood and the logs for Whittier. Like those, that, that needs to be its own job entirely. Uh, passenger train needs to be its own job. Yeah. So like, I, I really want five engines to run the railroad, really. Like I need another engine. Um, and spoilers, I will get another engine, and then I will need another engine somehow. He's gonna be too scared to do anything. But anyway, uh, this guy, this little boy, this little mogul, he is safe to run to Barker's Creek next. Road reverse, full beans. You're running to Barker's, bud. Line through Silva? I think he's he must have be line he must be lying through Silva. The uh the the other train just made it there. And it looks like the passenger train just made it wittier. Very good. It's uh it's interesting how streamlined and, and how simple the game becomes in some ways. It it, it feels it, it's getting complex, right? Like there's more complexity and you're adding things, but you're more adept and ready to handle it. Um in a, in a really easy way now, which is kind of fun. Uh, the logistics piece of this really is just a gem. But we'll just uh, we'll put, put a flare down, fuse you down before Barker's. He's going to run to Barker's. Um, we're going to check on our uh, passenger train. If, it, if it's ready, then keep it going. Bang, there it is. Yep, okay. Keep, keep running there, friendo. Go. Go do that hoodoo that you shall do. Because uh, with the, the stint to Bryson, I mean, really is easier for the, the passenger train to do its business. Um, and then your stop for the Fusee, we we're got we going to have to do some switching with you. Got a bunch of stuff for Whittier and Eastwood, Eastwood here at least. But we know that it'll all fit down there because uh, the way that it is, we can see that. Um, but I want to finish at the paperboard. Get, get the number two done so it can go night night. I'm staring at another train, boss. Yeah, I know you are. Why is all your air cut out? All stupid. Have I sent an AI over the road with like no air? Oh my god, I must have. I I there's there's no there's no way. From, from Dillsboro, yeah, we never hooked the air up. We just sent him. He figured it out. It's fine. Air, is there air? You don't know. 
It's Galaxy Quest, the meme. All right, road forward. Okay. Hey, maybe that's why it was uh, better about approaching the fusee. It had no air to compute anything. What are you? What are you worried about? Oh, the switch is lined against you. I get it. Okay, fine. Figure it out. He did tell me that. Well, that's fair. All right, so we're gonna run him. At Barker's, then he's gotta go to Connolly. And, and, and then we're gonna have to run time and yeah, this is gonna be a long day of the game. Like we're actually gonna use a lot of the hours of the day, I think, for this uh Oh, but we're about to have a meet. About to have a meet of our of our new equipment. All in the same spot. Alright, turn off tab mode, we wanna see this. This might be thumbnail material, you know. The yellow train. And the 19, I mean the 4, not the 19, the, the 4. Bye passengers! Alright. That's a nice 5 chime. I do like it. Yeah, I'm gonna do the switch in. Um, yeah. And, uh, and then we're gonna... We're gonna put the other cars around, and, and then I guess we'll see what the next day has for us. Um, but yeah, I mean, and it really looks kind of looks like we have to um, click through the menus to find the menu of menus. Um, it really looks like we need to get more. We need to get more cars. Like we need to need to be running more freight somehow. What? Oh, that passenger, the passenger train's stopping because I didn't line the switch for it. Got it. It just hauled the mail right past us. <laughs> and there we are. All right. Yeah. God, this this poor this poor little 282 has to run all the way <laughs> all the way to Bryson with one car. Good lord. And if it didn't make like if I didn't have to run the other pulpwood cars up to Connolly Creek. Um, I, w I would just take these log cars up there right now, but uh, unfortunately, uh, not not to be. But yeah, what's what's the next milestone? Bryson, the line to Fontana. Uh, it's a couple. It's three phases again with a bunch of cars. Diesel fueling stands. We don't care about that. Dillsboro Yard. It's one phase. It's four grand. Would be nice to have a yard at Dillsboro, but we don't need to worry about that. <laughs> or signals Whittier to Bryson. But the, the, we don't have any traffic there yet! God, it would be so cool to have CTC. But 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 we just do not have the the traffic to justify it. I, g I would assume that we can then get Thomas or um, yeah Thomas Valley to Silva later. Yeah, I assume if we start. Yeah, well I guess uh, may well maybe we look at that. But that's ten grand. I mean eight thousand with the discount because somehow my railroad is worth it. Screams. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, that's not ideal. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do these switching things. And, uh, I'll mull, mull over exactly what I want to do next with the railroad. So, meet you back shortly. Well, we're to the point that, uh, everything is running over the road. Um, and that's, uh, so we're, we're just kind of riding along. Uh, we're gonna take a look, a little look-see at, uh, the 19. I mean the 4, a little better. What the hell is going on up there? Oh, it's... Oh, part of the whistle linkage is wacky. Okay. Trust the AI to blow the whistle more than me. Okay, well, um, as enjoyable as this day in the... Oh, no. What? What? No. Uh, oh. What? What? 
What? What? What? What? What? What? What? What? What? Okay. Well. Yeah, as enjoyable as the stay in the concrete and <laughs> uh, has been. Uh, yeah, I think it's time to not be looking at this and dealing. God, the collision? What? There's collision on this? Why is there. And I have to jump in? Okay, well. Yeah, you don't play Rarity from first person ever. But hey, look, our one boxcar and us have made it to Bryson. Um. At the big end of the year. I, I, I do wonder what it would look like um, if I unlocked Bryson first. Because, like, so far Bryson has just kind of been a bit of a nothing burger. I mean, it's just. Okay. Alright. Big yard. It's a big excite, but, like. Yeah, yes, but actually, no, you know? Because uh, we got we got all this space to do nothing in. Uh, we have no cars coming out of Bryson yet. We still have this thing. It'll probably that'll probably be unloaded tomorrow. <laughs> that won't be. That uh, maybe that will be. I don't know. Is that an industries over here? Like, obviously it makes a great middle of the railroad. Um, Alarca Junk. Like if you get Alarca Junction and up to Alarca and. And then, obviously, God, there's still so much more map to Andrews, uh, including the big red marble, the big crazy grade, um, which is from Nantahala up, right? Am I remembering that right? I don't know. It's been a minute since I've been on that end of the map. I've only been there once. Um, the map in this game is just too big. I mean, it just is. Like, this is already so much to manage as one person. So. Yeah. Sounds like our passenger train just made it to Dillsboro. The two's put away for the night, and then the, uh... The three is still working on its assignments, so. <laughs> we'll get there. Alright. Click the fusey. Keep going. Line you into the hole at Silva and then the Atlantic will be done for the day. Goodness. And what a day it's been. I mean four four trains four trains is fun, but I mean really to to make it smooth and quick for a day. Uh I am understanding why five trains is definitely the, the move. Uh, you were not supposed to run there, but you did. Oh, well. Well. <laughs> well, we'll deal with you in a minute. Okay? It's fine. We need to Dutch drop a car with our, our new little Mikado. Okay. Where does it go? R1. It goes on this track. The track we're on. Cool. So we will take it ahead again, real quick. And then slam it in 40% reverse-ish. For optimal acceleration. And uncouple. Pow. Uh, and while this car rolls, I, I haven't mulled. I said I'd mull, but I didn't mull. But Miles, I like, we don't want to do... I don't care about diesel. We, we don't want to bridge further from Bryson. I also don't really want the yard. So I guess... I guess the answer is we want another engine, and then maybe we'll do signals. Chef's kiss. All right. This is now a engine that just needs to go night night, and we'll just tell him to run all the way into the yard and figure it out from there. We'll service it, and uh, that'll be that for the new engine. I mean, it, uh, I like a Mikado. I like a, I really like a Mikado. I mean, they're they're good engines. I like them. 
We're fans of the mics here. The Mikados. Yeah. Not necessarily people named Mike. You know. <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna go do that. Um, and then, yeah, I've, I'm gonna I have to figure out what this is gonna do. Um, to run the wood still. Yeah, this, this needs to be its own entire job. It, it, I almost want to bring, try to, how, like, how do you want to format your railroad? Like, it almost needs to be its own job that is done independently of what the railroad does, right? Because we have the easy pick up and set up Barker's Creek location for some cars for Silva at the, at the paper board. Um, but it doesn't do everything, right? Um, because we have to have these four that have to go at least to Connolly, if not even further. Uh, Walker is we now have another lumber facility. Um, so you know, uh, it's almost like you you just got to run this job and make sure that all that crap's done, so that then everything else can run smoothly. And maybe when I have an eastbound that originates out of Bryson and has switching and stuff to do and you could set up the that to happen and skip time, maybe that makes the most sense. But yeah, today it didn't feel like it made sense. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really didn't today, did it? All the different crap that had to go on to, to make everything else work. But yeah, a, dedica a dedicated... You're doing the log run. You're like you load and unload these things, and that's what you do. Engine, and then a dedicated paperboard switcher because the paperboard always needs to be switched. I think that's where we're gonna get to, and I think the ten wheeler is gonna be one of them, and the mogul is gonna be one of them, and we need to buy another locomotive. So how close to buying another locomotive are we? I mean, I know we just bought one this episode, but like, well, why not? Why not buy another one? You know the four engines um so if we look at our finance i mean the, as you all pointed out the more you have the more that you can pay like do in loan oh my god i can take another i can take basically 22 grand out we will have a debt to pay but if i can if i can pay if i can if i can get that much more worth the thing we just bought the k35 if we could get another big road engine. Oh my god, if we could get another big road engine. That it's 19 for a Pacific. It's 20,009 for a for a decapod. Oh my goodness. And then the big Toyota. I don't think we can't afford the big Toyota. I I like the sound of a Pacific. Yeah, let's just let's just go full stupid. Let's just go full stupid. We're, we're going full stupid, everyone. Pow. We ordered the big new dude. We said we were gonna, I was going to buy a, an observation car, but now I don't have any money because I bought a Pacific. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just a mess of pipes. That is, um, that's a mess of pipes. Um, yeah, uh, uh, uh mm, yeah, yeah, don't look at the trains too at close heist. It will ruin your enjoyment of the game. Uh, big, big choo-choo, big, big new choo-choo. We'll, we'll, we'll play with you. You're, you're going to be the five. You're going to be the five spot. It's going to be great. Uh, but now, now that we've game to the system, now we know that we can loan some more what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna buy we're gonna buy that obs we're gonna buy that second obs uh and we're gonna try that next time yeah yeah that's the that's the secret we're doing oh god the obs is 7500 bucks okay but i think i can still loan that much right so another another bit of loan menu simulator 2024 hello trains uh, the palace observation purchase pal oh god we gotta go why that don't we yeah we're gonna have to go why that right right well we'll do that and we'll run the other trains 
Um, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, exciting big moves in Rare Order. Um, good things coming, obviously. Like, we're, we're still running the railroad. We're still acquiring things. And debt. Debt is a thing that we are acquiring. Uh, but, you know, uh, <laughs> we want to keep the whole thing moving. So, anyways, guys, I hope you liked this. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new doot. The new doot this time, and we'll have a new new doot next time. Um, and uh, I'm going to stop looking at this before I have an aneurysm. So, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, everyone.